So chatting to the three fellas in advance of coming on air, I said here, give us your, your definite Irish starters for the test matches. And so we'll, we'll put it up on a graphic here for you. And only one name had total consensus across the three, and no surprise, it's Tyg Furlong. So let's get the ball rolling here. I would have thought, Luke Fitzgerald, that Robbie Henshaw and Conor Murray would be very, very close to taking a jump to the left there. Yeah, I would agree with you. I think, you know, Robbie's been the form player in Ireland, playing great for Leinster too. Uh, and I think, you know, he was very unlucky on the last tour. Uh, he's been outstanding. I would say, you know, he'd have to play quite poorly not to have a really good chance of getting in that for first test. Conor Murray has been mixed, uh, you know, form-wise, but I think he, he's actually come into form at the exact right time. Uh, he's, it's his tour, third tour, so there's a degree of familiarity there. Mm. Uh, and uh, his kicking game on the high veld could be very, yes. very valuable. I think you weren't so sure about Murray, Shane. Um, no, in that I, I think he was fortunate to get on tour and that last performance against England I thought was his best in a long time and that got him on the tour. Also, I would say uh, his history with Gatland and his sort of overall class and I think I hope that he can deliver uh, a performance uh, based on, on that kicking game in particular, as Lukey mentioned. But uh, I think he's afforded a really good opportunity today, starting with uh, Dan Bigger to, to you know, stake, uh, state his case um, you know, in a, in a very strong way uh, for that um, opening test spot. Uh, but I think Henshaw, of everybody there, is probably um, the closest to the starters. Um, the only reason I'd say he wouldn't start is if he's been looked at a 13 as opposed to 12, if um, they're looking at Farrell. And I think Bigger is a 10-12 combination. Um, so unless that happens, I think Henshaw would start. And then I think there's a big shout for, for Ty Byrne as well. Um, the find of the season, and we're doing some analysis on him later on, find of the season for Ireland. Um, you know, Maybe not a shoe-in for Ireland at the start of the Six Nations, and all of a sudden he was a, a shoe-in for this Lions tour. Um, a lot of the sort of qualities that I think would work well against South Africa, um, he can play his way into the starting test side. Matt, who makes that jump over aside from, I think, I think we're now nudging Henshaw in uh, on the, the circumstances Shane kind of outlined, notwithstanding. Who else are you nudging over there? Yeah, I'm always on that. Bobby Henshaw's been the best center in the islands there over the Six Nations, for sure. He was outstanding and I'd have Robbie starting. Again, I agree with Shane that it's just gonna depend what they do with Farrell. Like Farrell's not in great form at the moment. Can he find form? If not, Farrell's on the bench because he covers a number of positions and he's a goal kicker. So if they, if they don't select Farrell, Robbie's in there for sure. I also agree with Shane about Byrne. Like he talk about Byrne lucky. He he was he was a six who couldn't get to play six. He was playing second row with Munster. Mm. Couple of injuries, he gets to six, and he's been outstanding. And and you look at I know we're going to look at the back row later today, but what he does as a six in a test side is he adds great balance. So he allows you to pick a genuine open side flanker like Hamish Watson or Justin Tepiric. It, it's It gives you that balance between them and a good runner at eight. Yes. Now, I'll, I'll throw another one there. I, I know Fala, everyone's saying Falatau's got the eight sign up. Conan is a great ball carrier, and you're going to have to carry against mm. South Africa really, really well because yeah. they just catch it behind the goal. So he's certainly got a good shot too. And, and this is, again, about a lines to it. Yes. It's what you do on the tour. It's what you do on the tour. 